Thank you for joining us for today's Living Word. Today we're going to look at Jeremiah 15. There's only one way that you can be aware of and watch the words that come out of your mouth, and that is to train your mouth. Train your mouth. And that's on what you're eating and what you're speaking, how you renew your mind. Jeremiah 15, 16, it says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. You find God's word. You have to look for it. It's just not going to pop out in the open. And you have to meditate on it. It's not good enough to say, well, this person said that. Teachers direct you to a truth in God's word. But then you need to put that word in front of your eyes and ask Holy Spirit to give you the revelation of it, which we find in praying in Ephesians, the eyes of my understanding are enlightened. You have to put your eyes on the word. And here it says, Jeremiah, he said, your words were found and I did eat them. And your word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Do you rejoice in the word of God? Is it a tree of life to you? He says, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. Jeremiah underwent tremendous persecution. And how did he manage to go through it? Jesus said, in this life you will have persecution. The foundation of Jeremiah's faith and ability to go through every type of persecution was the fact that he believed God's word and that God was faithful to perform his word. God's word became his joy. God's word, who is Jesus and the word are one, should be the most important thing in your life, should be your greatest joy. And the joy of the Lord is your strength. And as that becomes your joy, you will speak it and release it and you will be partaking of the tree of life. You have been called for such a time as this. God knows you can do what he's called you to do. He has a perfect plan and purpose for you. But until you spend time with him, put the word in your eyes, your ears, your mouth, you're going to be too busy with what other people have said or what the world is saying instead of making it personal. Thank you for joining us today.